in the last video, we talked about that GTA 6 leaker that ended up leaking that Lucia's Bunda and the hacker who leaked it ended up being free. But today, we have the PlayStation and the Xbox story. My guy, Jim Ryan, for the longest amount of time, was living on our prayer. But guys, it's over. It's <laughs> done at this point. Phil Spencer just came out. Like this video. Subscribe if you're brand new. There's a video I want to show you. Let's go for maybe five likes on the video. Drop a W or L. I want to see where you guys are at with the story. It is over. Okay, Phil Spencer came out. So that we are pleased to announce that Microsoft and PlayStation have signed a binding agreement to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation following the acquisition of Activision Blizzard. Oh, shit. We look forward to a future where players globally have more choice to play their favorite games. That certainly includes that Game Pass. Uh, I mean, for the longest amount of time, Jim Ryan was living on a prayer thinking that he's going to be able to cancel the deal. But guys, it it'll be what it be, man. Friendly UAV I guess, because uh, y'all know that it's going under Call of Duty. Okay, so guys, let's check this out, okay? For my viewers out there that just want me to shut up about this whole Microsoft acquiring Activision deal, uh, I'm sorry. Here's another yeah. video, because yet again, oh, on a Sunday, we had an actual change to events. I, I was going to live stream today, but this actually just dropped, so we're making a video, man. Hit the bell, because we're going to be live streaming soon, 18 boys. long months of denying Damn. and trying to block the contract that Microsoft sent them, Sony finally agreed to and signed a binding contract <laughs> to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation. Filed that is crazy, man. What a plot twist. Holy hell, bro. Following the Activision Blizzard acquisition. This is big news because, of course, like I mentioned before, along this entire path over 18 months, Sony was denying, did not want to sign, did not yeah. want to play ball, just wanted to block the deal overall. And Damn. in the end, I am kind of curious to know what the terms are. But, but do you blame, though, right? Do you blame them, though? Because, like, listen, it's Phil Spencer's job to uh, make sure the deal goes through, and it's, like, Jim Ryan's job to make sure he gets to block it. He was living on a prayer like god damn it <laughs> holy sh okay like uh, this is crazy 18 months 18 months they also is uh, the ftc i mean biggest clowns biggest clowns if you're someone that's gonna say l for this deal that's it that's your right that's your opinion i'm not gonna be sitting here and be like your sony pony or x bot right like uh, like come on w l let me know in the chat but listen man i blame the ftc sony should whoop their ass right now because the ftc fit <laughs> those suckers the suckers are the reason why Sony failed with this and they had to cave in and they're like, yeah guys, uh, can you please uh, mm -mm, sign the deal? I'm gonna be not strong. I'm not gonna be independent. That is crazy because we heard through like league documents uh, through the courtroom, right? That they said uh, Jim Ryan wanted the deal to be blocked. I don't want to sign the deal. I want your deal to be blocked. That's what happened. Man. Unfortunately, they have not been revealed to the public. It does yeah. make me wonder if the contract had changed at all, because if y'all remember, it first started with a seven year contract, then it was extended to nine, and then eventually it came to a- I believe it was uh, started off with like two till 2025, two years. Uh, yeah, they were like, okay, we're going to honor the existing contracts, and we heard that it's going to be uh, till like 2024 or 2025. Then they added like five years, and then I believe they added seven. Uh, I'm not sure about nine, but yeah, then they said 10 years, but this time they did not say how many years. I, I mean, I'm, I'm certain it's going to be 10 years as well. 10-year contract, which is what was actually uh, given to NVIDIA and Nintendo and all of these other cloud gaming services yeah. to sign, and every single one of them signed except for sony sony was the only one that did not accept a 10-year contract so i'm curious to know if that 10 years turned into 11 12 13 14 15 or if it's just the same exact contract from before but I, I think it would be the same exact contract but even if it's not bro like jim ryan got no choice like he got no choice because we were talking about this before that jim ryan hasn't even signed that 10-year deal man he hasn't even signed the 10-year deal so if he doesn't sign and this deal goes through obviously i believe that microsoft is going to keep their word and they're going to keep call of duty on playstation but if he doesn't sign the deal and microsoft starts feeling cute and strong independent they can remove the game from the playstation Bruh. that that could have happened but now that the they, they have signed the deal so at least uh, i'm not sure for how long they signed but we're all assuming 10 years so call of duty is going to stay on playstation for 10 years but after that 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. It might not be, guys. I, I think it will stay for a good while, but after 10 years, we uh, do not know. Since every other person under the sun accepted the contract except for Sony, would that then put them in a compromising position? And yeah, what I mean by that is if Sony didn't accept it and the acquisition was already approved without Sony accepting that contract, does that mean then legally Activision Blizzard under the roof of Microsoft, they could have legally just taken Call of Duty away, period, because Sony didn't want to play ball? I don't really know. I, I don't know yeah. what the outcome of that would have been. Yeah, nobody would know. I mean, on planet Mars, we probably have a different outcome or something, but on planet Earth, man, it's the deal is done, boys. But it's thankfully done. for PlayStation players everywhere, we don't have to think about what that outcome would have been. But even saying that, I'm still under the impression that they wouldn't want to take a slice of the pie away from themselves True. by selling a product that they own on a competitor's platform. I, I, I do believe that if Xbox was like, if they had the sale numbers, just like the PlayStation, if they were even out like Xbox and PS3, right? Uh, who's what sold the most? I'm not sure. I believe like it was PS3, but from for how much, right? Like what were what was the difference between the numbers? Uh, that I'm not sure, but I believe that PS3 and 360 were very very neck to neck. So if the numbers were like that for Xbox uh, Series X and uh, Xbox One prior with PS4, I, I think they could have chose to make Call of Duty exclusive, right? At that point, maybe, maybe. But right now they're not gonna because the numbers are not there, and the rumor is that you know when the PlayStation 6 comes out when the next xbox comes out that's when they might make this friendly that's when they might make it exclusive guys form but then that brings in the next question what about all of the other games that aren't call of duty they didn't really bring yeah. up overwatch they didn't talk about diablo they didn't talk about crash bandicoot or spyro or any they they don't care they 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 don't care. They only care. <laughs> they only care about Call of Duty, man. Looks like that. I got a GTA 6 leak in my DMs, boys. Should I leak my DMs? Call of Duty. Keep Call of Duty. That's all she wrote, boys. That's all she wrote. That's absolutely wild when you think about it. Because PlayStation do not care about any other games. Microsoft. The the main reason they bought it, obviously, mobile is like a is massive for the revenue. But the main reason is Call of Duty, dog. That's all what they talked about in the court for five days straight or how or, or for 18 months straight i should say call of duty is the only thing they talked about any of these things what does it mean for those games does that mean crash and spyro are going to be exclusive to the xbox now i guess that's a total possibility yeah. since they didn't seemingly care what about yeah, tony hawk pro care? skater is that going to become an exclusive on the xbox i i have no clue yeah, it's just no surprising clue? to me that the entire conversation around the past 18 months has been solely focused laser focused on what happens with call Damn. of duty and it's because it makes a fuck load of money and that's True. pretty much what it comes down to sony does actually rely on that money every single year and i don't bl and right now there are rumors going around that microsoft will be buying take two next oh, shit. only rumors but but still though holy gee. okay I'll, I'll i'll cover that very soon but call of duty comes out every single year though it's like massive i i, I know a lot of people say that i i don't play call of duty me neither bro i haven't played call of duty in months okay i'm also not planning to buy call of duty 2023 because we're hearing that it's just gonna be garbage it's gonna be just like the reskin it was supposed to be a goddamn dlc for modern warfare 2 and they are turning that into a full-blown 70 dollars game if you're in canada like me then that's a hundred dollars brother that's a hundred dollars bro so call of duty i mean it's kind of chalk for the i would say the next two years i would say like this is all gonna take them it's they're certainly gonna take them two plus years maybe three minimum before we start seeing effects but i guess the biggest effect would be call of duty coming out on game pass by 2025 that's what we previously heard and the only person or the only company that's left is the uk cma they're the only one left to approve but guys we recently had black ops 2 remake call of duty 2024 leaking out click on this video on the screen this is a massive video we've had a ton of stories check this video out guys and uh, i will see you right there stead muffin up